Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsfari.com. Today's topic of our discussion is what are glycolipids? How cerebroside is different from cancleoside within 5 minutes? Glycolipids are sugar lipid complexes. They are called as glycosphingolipids as the backbone is made up of sphincosin. Let's look into the structure of sphingolipid. As you can see, there is a sphincosin backbone in the case of glycolipid. Whereas in fatty acids here, glycerol forms the backbone. Then fatty acids are attached to the second carbon by an amide bond, attached to the nitrogen by an amide bond. Then to the first carbon, to the OH, if glucose is bonded by glycosidic bond, then it is called the cerebroside, an example of glycolipid. So cerebroside is formed by joining of one or more monosaccharides connected directly to the OH at C1 position of ceramide or sphingosin backbone by glycosidic bond. The sphingosin and fatty acid, these two together called as ceramide. So cerebroside is a glycolipid that is formed by the joining of monosaccharide to the ceramide moiety by glycosidic bond. The functions are cerebroside forms outer layer of plasma membrane. If galactose is present which is very common in neural tissues with glucose it is very common in non-neural tissues like liver, spleen, lungs, retina etc. Moving into gangliocide. Gangliocide are sialic acid containing glycosphingolipids. The structure is the same it is having a sphingosin backbone, then to the second carbon, to the nitrogen, a fatty acid chain is joined by amide bond, to the first carbon, complex oligosaccharides are joined. Let me zoom in this region, the side chain, as you can see, to the OH of the first carbon of the sphingosin backbone, D-glucose, then D-galactose, then D-galactosamine and neuraminic acid, which is called as sialic acid, is added, forming cancleoside. In cancleoside, complex oligosaccharides are joined to the C1 head group, OH, of the sphingosin backbone. The functions are, they are found in ganglion cells of nerves tissue, also present in spleen and RPC. The functions of gangliocide includes modulation of membrane proteins and ion channels in cell signaling and in cell to cell communication. Loss of gangliocide, especially retinal gangliocide, is often associated with neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, etc. And this is about gangliocide and cerebroside. Thank you so much for your support. If you find this video useful, please subscribe and support this channel.